Hello and welcome to another short K2 based video. My name is Kyron and here I'll be offering some suggestions as to the best way of drawing a modular array on your flat roof project. Moving into base, I've already drawn my roof and am on the design page. Here I would like to do a D-Dome setup and you'll notice a few things have been pre-selected. We always recommend using this modular array function and I'll show you why the complete roof option isn't always the best. By selecting the complete roof option, we will place a modular array over the entire roof, but this doesn't necessarily mean that the modules will be best placed. We can see a bit of space on the right here, and this whole module row is being compromised due to the obstruction. We can edit this modular array by, with the pen function, and now bringing this uh, down a little bit to where we would like it. If we would like to change the distance from the module field to the edge of the roof, we are also able to do that with these buttons on the side. However, before we do that, it's a good idea to use this function here, as this brings the module array to a close fit around the modules. We are then able to set the distances we would like, and this is then from the edge of the roof to the edge of the module. If we have too many module blocks here, uh, or too many modules that we would like to get rid of some, we are also able to edit this using a different function, the ruler function. And here you'll see the numbers change from a distance to the edge to the number of modules. In this case, it is a D-dome, which has two modules, and so four represents eight individual modules. If we would like to bring uh, halve this function, for example, and use it as only four, we can select the eight and then put in four here. You'll notice two arrows, and this is important. This determines the number or the direction of which the modules will be removed. So if we select the one on the left, the top four rows will be removed, leaving the bottom four. In this case, I would like the top four to stay. And so selecting this one, these four modules here will be removed, leaving us with a four by four module block. If we would like another one of this, but perhaps with a little gap in the middle, we are able to draw a module field or, in this case, I would recommend copying the existing one. You'll notice now that the module arrays are overlapping and this is why there is no modules to be seen. Moving this away from it, the modules will appear again and now we have our two identical module blocks. Alternatively, we can use this function over here and selecting add, draw a module block on the other side. As this is a little bit narrower, we're not gonna get four modules in and we may want to use something different. In this case, we will not split them. Again, it is a good idea to use this function here and this will ensure that any distances calculated will be from the edge of the roof to the edge of the module and not the module block here. To show this, we'll change back to the distance function. As you see here, we have 3.66. If we reduce it, the modules will stay in exactly the same spot. However, this distance here changes. Again, we're able to set it so it's aligned with the one on the right. Sometimes you might notice a small change in your module so when this happens. And that can easily be changed by slightly uh, increasing the module field. Here, we've got the same distance as four. Now we can move on to our results page and finish planning our project. Thanks for watching. That's all we have time for now. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.